This conference will now be recorded. Welcome to Short Online Training. Today, I will be discussing about tables, listings, and figures which are involved in the FTA submission. What is a table? Table is nothing but it is a customized report which includes some statistical calculations like n, mean, median, maximum, and minimum. What are the different types of tables we can see in the clinical development? We can see safety tables and efficacy tables. So let's talk about safety tables. So when we talk about the safety tables, there are few tables which are considered as the safety tables. Those are treatment emergent adverse event tables, disposition table, and laboratory related tables like change from baseline and shift tables. So let me show you an example of safety table. So here I'm displaying the demographic safety table, which includes the values with respect to the variables like gender, age, education, household income, etc. Now let's talk about efficacy tables. So when we talk about efficacy tables, the tables which comes under efficacy are exposure, pharmacokinetic and pharmacodynamic tables. So in these tables, it usually involves the calculation of p-value by using parametric and non-parametric tests like chi-square test and Fisherman test. So the p-value means it's a probability value. So this is an example of a efficacy table, which is consists of calculation of LS mean SE. SE stands for standard error and 95% of CI. CI means conventional interval for LS mean. So LS mean is nothing but read square. Like this here, check here, PQ, P value. P value stands for probability value. Like that, it includes these values, these calculations. So those tables considered as the efficacy tables. Now, what is a listing? Listing is the it is a customized customized reports which involve any statistical calculations. Where when we're talking about tables. We came across statistical calculations like n, mean, median, minimum, max, maximum. But here, when we talk about listings, it doesn't include any statistical calculations. So types of listings we can find in the clinical domain. We have many different types of listings like demographic listings, adverse event listings, laboratory listings, and questionnaire related listings. So it is an example of listing where you can find here the report is simply consists of the values and the variables. It doesn't include any statistical calculations. Let's talk about figures. So what is a figure? The figure is nothing but it is a graphical representation of the data. We have different figures or graphs found in the clinical development process. That is, those are pie charts, bar graphs, and scatter plots. And we do have many other graphs. So over here, I'm showing you an example of scatter plots. So it will be developed by using some SAS procedures. Now let's talk about variables which involved in the creating tables. We have two different types of variables which involve in the development of the tables. One is the categorical tables and one is the continuous tables. So continuous variables. So when we talk about categorical variables, like we have sex, race, ethnicity, etc. And when we talk about continuous variables, we have age, weight, height, BMI. So Usually for the categorical variables, we calculate the frequency 
and for continuous variable we calculate the summary stat so that's it guys thanks for watching my video for more videos related to the clinical domain please like and subscribe my channel any questions or queries please contact at the number provided on the screen for any other information please find below of the subscription thank you